welcome to my channel if this is your first time coming along please press the subscribe button it's around here somewhere and um, if not thank you for coming back I'm doing this tutorial today in collaboration with Mars Pharmacy I love working with Mars Pharmacy they have such a huge selection of products online and in store I'll leave a link to everything that I use down below Priming your skin is so, so, so important. My skin is quite dry, so I will find that if I don't prime my skin, um, I'm gonna end up with kind of patches coming off or dryness, and that's the last thing you want is for your skin to look dry. So the first product that I'm going in with is the Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. And I'm just gonna go in with about three or four drops of that on my skin. Main place I will get dry is across my cheeks and my forehead. After I do the oil, I like to go in with this. This is the Professional by Benefit. It's a balm that reduces the look of pores. So I would find that I have some pores poking out, especially around here on my face. So I like to just warm it up between my hands and then just press it into my skin. I'm going to give that time to just really, really sink into my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I like to do my brows now because I find the oil helps them kind of glide on a little bit better. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer and start that. So as you can see, my eyebrows are quite sparse. Um, I never have been blessed with <laughs> amazing eyebrows. So what I like to do first is I like to just brush through my brow with a spoolie. The brow pencil that I like to use is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number five. And that's like my all over color. So the general rule of thumb for brows is you want it to start here. So you go from your nose straight up. That's where to start. You want to go from your nose through the pupil. That's where you should have your arch. And you want to go from your nose through the edge of your eye. And that's where you want it to end. So that's the general rule of thumb that I follow when I do my brows. For the front of my brow, what I like to do is I like to take browsings. This is in the shade number two, which is much lighter than the brow product that I just used there. And I like to take the little shading brush that comes with the browsings and just push that up through the front of my brow. Now just to add a little bit more definition to the brow, I'm gonna go in with the shade number six of the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I am going to just do strokes of that through the brow. We're not gonna fully fill the brow with this, but I want to just add a bit of dimension to the brow. So I'm going in with a nice flat brush. This is the E44 by Blanc Canvas. And I'm just going to carve right underneath where I have done my brow. the blank canvas master series palette to do a really super simple eye that suits everybody trust me this is the easiest eye to do and it will take you across so many occasions so i want to start with the shade core first i just set my lids with a little bit of translucent powder before i start so i'm going to go in with core and this brush here is from blank canvas and is an e28 brush and i'm just going to really lightly brush that into my crease this color is really not going to give you any kind of color payoff. What this is more going to do is going to help you blend the other shades. Then taking the same brush and a color here called Forza, which is this shade here. Using Forza, Forza is a little bit warmer. So I'm going to go in in the same space. The 
next I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Hickory. I'm just going to really define that kind of outer area moving into the crease. Now I'm going to go in with a shade called Corruption. And Corruption is the deepest shade in the palette. And I'm going to go along the same area that I just did Hickory. And just pressing that in along the lash line. And a little bit up. And then taking my brush and blending it out. So once I'm happy with the initial blend of the eyeshadows. I'm going to go in with a shimmer colour on the lid. The shimmer is going to draw the light into my eye. Going in with a shade from the Balm called Work Is Overrated. And I'm going to spray my brush. And just with a flat brush, I'm going to just pack that onto the lid. Go in now with some eyeliner and this liner is from Note Cosmetics and I like it because the brush is so fine. So I'm just going to go in and line along the lash line. Really fine line along the lash line. So while the liner is still a little bit wet, I'm just using that E10 brush just to diffuse that outer part a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Corruption on the outer edge and just blend it in a little bit. Before I move on to the under eyes, I want to do my face. So I will do my face and come back to the eyes a little bit later. I'm planning on using a mix of three products today for my foundation look. So I'm using the Floor Mars Smooth Touch Foundation in the shade number five, the Floor Mar Anti Blemish Foundation in the shade 11, and the Floor Mar Double Radiance Primer. So I really like how these mix together and give a really light finish to the skin. And um, so I'm just gonna mix them together on a palette. My skin is quite dry to normal, so I try to mix my foundations as best as I can. Most of the times I do mix foundations. I wanna get a mix that's quite hydrating, but also um, good coverage. Because I love my freckles, but when I am hitting the club or going to an occasion, I want everything really wiped out and really full coverage. So I'm just gonna dot that around my face. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Dot it all over. Around my eyebrows and things like that as well, I'm just going to use the brush just to carve a little bit. Just so we don't lose any eyebrow. Take my blank canvas sponge and just work that onto the skin. I love this sponge, as I said before, I just love that it has a flat edge. And it just really, really works for me. So my next step is my cream contour and highlight. And I'm going to go in with this. This is the So Su by Suzanne Jackson um, Highlighting and Contouring Palette. And I am going to use a couple of shades from this palette. As you can see, it's well loved. And I'm just going to kind of pack that under the eyes. A little bit down the nose. Oh, you are gonna look a little bit cray, but that's all right. We gon' we gon' work it out. But again, using my little sponge that I love from Blank Canvas, I'm gonna start to blend in that cream color. First thing I wanna do is I'm just going to blend out that contour, and I'm gonna keep that quite up in the face. So what I'm going to use is the yellow shade here in the Sosu Contour Palette just to set my foundation and that is really going to brighten under the eyes which is great. So I'm going to use that on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. You only want to set the areas that you want to remove the glow from. So the glow is going to come in the centre of the face and you don't really want that throughout the day. So I'm just going to use this just to remove that a little bit and brighten those areas. You can go underneath your contour everywhere you'd like to set. 
So right now you're looking quite blank because you've used a lot of full coverage full coverage products on your skin and you want to bring a little bit of life back into the skin so I'm going to go ahead and use Hoola bronzer and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to do that because I find with the fluffy brush it's really going to diffuse the product and make it look more even and healthy. I'm using this palette here which is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to use two of these shades here. As you can see they're quite grey toned and that's what you want when you're actually contouring your skin because you want the skin to create a shadow. The product you don't want to bring it past this point of your eye because what it's going to do is it's going to create a muddy look whereas if you keep it back here it's going to create that shadow. A little bit of blush just to give a bit of life back into the skin and this is California by Benefit. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples in my cheeks. This is like the perfect berry there blush. It's very hard to use too much of this so I really really like it. The final step to my actual face makeup then is highlight. And I'm going to go in first with a cream highlighter. This is What's Up by Benefit. And I'm just going to tap that along the high point of my cheeks. I love this stuff. It's so 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 nice. And it gives that beautiful glow. It adds kind of luminosity to the skin. And I'm just doing a little bit along my lip. Now because this is a cream product, you don't want to go in with your beauty blender. If you go in with your beauty blender, you're going to actually move the foundation. You want to go in with your finger. So you just want to pounce that in with your finger. Because the warmth of your finger is going to diffuse the product rather than actually moving your foundation. On top of that then I'm going to go in with Dandelion Twinkle and Dandelion Twinkle is a lovely powder highlight. It has kind of a peachy undertone so it's going to give a gorgeous glow to the skin. And I'm just going to brush that over top of my What's Up. Oh girl. So now your skin is snatched. Now that your skin is done you're going to notice that it's probably going to look quite powdery little bit cakey and that is the last thing that you want so using a set and spray like this one here from makeup revolution this is the pro fix set and spray and it is an oil controlling set and spray but what that means it's going to make your makeup last a bit longer so i'm going to use this just to spray over my face and what that's going to do it's going to help remove excess powder and it almost help the makeup melt into the skin and then set it so i'm just going to be pretty liberal with that I just want to finish the bottom of my eyes before I finish my makeup look and finish with the lips. I'm going to give you two options. So I want to show you a nude lip and also a red lip. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of corruption on a little angled brush. And just under the lash line, I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit. I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend out under the eye. Right now, if you want to add a bit of warmth, you can go in with a color like hibiscus and just buff that under the eye and it'll bring a bit of warmth back into the look. Same on the other eye. that same shimmer pigment that I had before and I'm just going to run that along here. So what that's going to do is it's actually going to open the eye a little bit more and give that more almond effect to the eye which is what you want from this look. So first of all I'm going to show you is a nude lip and I'm going to go in with the Balm pick up a liner in I really dig you and I'm also going to go in with this kind of pinky nude this is from Flormar and this is the color natural rosewood in DC 36 and um, so this is quite a neutral lip liner it's really really good for a lot of different nude looks so I love it if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I really 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 like this lip liner I've already gone through three of them
So that is the first look with the nude lip liner. It's really, really understated. But if you want to go a bit more impact, you can go in with a red. And I'm going to show you the red that I use now. So I'm just going to remove this and I'll be back. Just dust that off. So I'm going to go in with a liner from The Balm again. And this one is called Boyfriend Material. The liquid lipstick that I'm going to go in with is Sexy Siren by Enchant by Joanne Larby. These lipsticks are super, super light to wear. They're very long lasting and they're great. I really, really like these liquid lipsticks. The applicator itself actually makes it really easy to apply the lipstick as you can see here it's a pointed applicator so it makes it really really easy to get into all corners of the lip and get a really even coverage so my makeup is all ready and my hair is slicked back there's only one thing missing what could that be I decided to throw on my glad rags I'm literally wearing a full gown in my house right now um, but I just wanted to demonstrate how this look is so versatile, it can go with anything. So that's my completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the link down below. I'm going to leave all my social media links in the link down below as well. So if you have any questions across any platform, let me know and I'll see you soon.